of the Prophet. So to say that covering the head is not a part of Muslim identity is totally wrong. The beard is a part of the Muslim identity, wearing the cap or at least covering the head, whether with a scarf or with a uh, uh, gathra like that. But, but sir, what about what Shah Rukh said? And I know a lot of my friends say this, that and all of us, no matter what faith we come in, we interpret our faiths differently. We take away some things, we don't do some things. Does that make us any less of Hindus, Muslims, Christians? No, as I said that Muslim is a person who submits will to God. So you cannot say a liberal Muslim or a moderate Muslim. You can say a practicing Muslim or partly practicing or non-practicing. <laughs> That's more correct. You know, and to understand Islam, don't look at the Muslim, don't look at me. Go to the scriptures. That is the reason I give talks on Islam and comparative religion. But so as far as I the student is concerned. So, yeah. I, I find that uh, a too narrow definition of Islam. I personally reject all rituals. But Islam is part of my culture and my ethos. I'm as proud a Muslim as any, any, uh, anybody else on this podium. But I don't have to wear it on my sleeve. And I think that's too narrow a definition of Islam. Uh, I'd like to make a point. Yeah. Uh, they talked about people being uh, uh, stereotyped because of the beard and, and the cap and the hijab. <clears throat> then we should say that all Sikhs are stereotyped. Anyone who wears a turban is and wears not, a beard. It's not the same, no, no. Though. It's not the, it's same, not the same. But what has happened, I'll tell you, in fact, India has become, in a strange sense, more liberal because when. Yusuf Khan entered the film industry and adopted the name of Dilip Kumar. That was a time when the whole of India was pretty prejudiced against Muslims, let me tell you. And Meena Kumari, who was she? She was also a Muslim. Why were all the names? Shah Rukh is an amazing example of a Muslim who is now the Badshah of Bollywood with a Muslim name. He didn't have to change his name. So something has w happened. Would you have ever changed your name? To Akshay Kumar, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would never change my name. Now the reverse is happening, Barkha. I know of boys who come from small towns, want to become actors. They change their name to Khan because they think that's the badge of honor. That's the way to go. No, no, it's Dilip Khan or Kapoor. Sorry, Najib. But Dilip Kumar has now become Allah Rakha Rahman. Yeah. That's the change. But, but, but now I, he's no longer a star. Yeah. Uh, Shahrukh, you want to make a point and then Soha and Madhuri. Yeah, just, yeah. I just, just want to say one thing. That, yeah. uh, you know, it's, it's, I, I, I just want to know very clearly, and I'm a Muslim, and I want to know, is it more important for me to look Muslim and see Muslim or to feel Muslim? I fully respect the scriptures. I fully respect uh, all the hadiths. I yeah. have read the Quran in my own uh, way, uh, in Arabic and in English. But I think it's time has come, uh, and this genuinely is an appeal, that it is more important to feel Muslim, to than feel to look Hindu, it. than to look it, and I and if you do, I mean if you do, it's absolutely cool, and if you <laughs> don't, it's absolutely cool. Doctor, I quick mean, response to that, and I got two guests I waiting think to the speak. the best is to practice Muslim, and number one. Yes. <laughs> appearing is, is important, but lower down. I'm not saying appearing is the most important. For a person to practice Islam is more important, beard comes lower down. Beard is not in the 70 major sins that it's not there. But you know, what about what Kabir is saying? And we, there was a story of a young boy whom I interviewed who studies in a convent school in Madhya Pradesh. And he's a poor boy. And he, the, the school rules wouldn't allow him to wear a beard. He went all the way to the Supreme Court to say, I must be allowed to keep my beard. Otherwise, I prefer not to study. And he actually dropped out of school for a while because of that. The Supreme Court eventually ruled in his favor. And that is my next question and I want to take that to, to Madhuri Saab. Madhuri Saab, you're a very interesting character for me because at one level you have organized, as Alex said, all of these fatwas against terrorism and all of that. But you also had a resolution against the singing of Vande Matra. And these kind of resolutions, I know many of my friends would say is what stereotypes Muslims. The thing is Vande Mataram Ghana बिल्कुल अलग चीज है अलग चीज गा, हां गाने के लिए जिद करना बिल्कुल एक अलग चीज है कोई जबरदस्ती गवाना चाहे और नहीं गाए या हम ये कहें हम नहीं गाते तो फिर हम स्टीरियोटाइप हो जाएंगे टेररिज्म की मुखालिफत करेंगे तो बहुत अच्छे हो जाएंगे ये ये जो डबल डबल मामला चलता है ये ठीक नहीं अभी मेरे दाढ़ी नहीं हो और कुर्ता पैजामा नहीं हो ये भी जो पगड़ी से तो लोग बहुत डरते हैं ना कहते हैं ये तो एक बच्चा एयरपोर्ट पे कहता है मदनी साहब नहीं मदनी साहब मामा मामा देखो बिल्लादीन जा रहा है है ना तो क्या हो गया है अब ये सब मैं उतार दूं 
تو میں ایک ریزنیبل مسلمان ہو سکتا ہوں ایک ایسا مسلمان ہو سکتا ہوں جو بہت اچھا آدمی اور اگر میں نے یہ پہن لیا تو خیالات میرے کتنے اچھے ہوں خیالات نظریات آئیڈیالوجی یہ ہے بیسک چیز یا بیسک چیز ہماری دکھنے والی چیز ہے دیٹ دا ریورس ٹیریو ٹائپ دا مومنٹ یو سی دا بیئر ان دا اسکل کیپ از گاٹ ٹو بی اے فنڈامنٹلسٹ کوشچن آئی وانٹ ٹو گیٹ سوہا اینڈ لسننگ ویری پیشنٹلی آل دس وائل So as somebody who's grown up in a sense in a, in, a, in a house of mixed religion, for you, in a sense, do you feel that public gaze, do you feel, you know, many people have questioned my labeling of or my looking for the moderate Muslim. Yet there are others who say that we don't hear enough moderate voices. We either hear the, the, the religious voices or we hear the non-believing. Because I voices. don't think anybody is really interested in what the moderate Muslim has to say because it's not very interesting. It's sort of boring. We're represented by extremists who have violent opinions, perhaps. I'm talking about vandals. And I think maybe also more recently, I was asking my mother when I was asked to come on this show. I said, in your time when you married my father and you had an inter-religious marriage, which presumably at that time, 40 years ago, was more controversial than it is today. Were you ever asked to defend your identity, to defend your choice of religion, what it means to be Hindu or Muslim, the way that we are today? And she said, no, not at all. It was a no comment issue. You just said no comment and you moved on in life. In the over the past, maybe ever since I've been in cinema, certainly, it's an issue. And there is, uh, people do ask me, do you feel aggravated by what is happening as a Muslim? Do you feel the need to stand up for, for your religion because it, it is being misrepresented in the media? Uh, and I think for me, religion is a very private matter. Uh, it's between my maker and me. And it's not something that I would want to discuss in any public forum, even this one. We should be talking about an Indian identity as opposed to a Muslim identity. I think. Okay, I'm going to take that as my cue to take a break. But is it, as I said to Alec earlier, is it that simple? Is there also a sort of denial within the community? Is the secular debate caught up in a certain amount of dishonesty? And there's also the reverse stereotype. We'll take a quick break and then we'll take the questions that I'm sure a lot of people have here that's coming up. After the break.